Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, how we can solve these crazy problems? Okay, so I'm getting these crazy problems day by day, and I want to show you how we can fix this so that you can also solve yourself and get rid of the application has been blocked from accessing hardware or the graphics hardware. So let's get started and solve this. So the very first thing is that you need to use the commands, okay? And we are, of course, we are going to be using command prompt. So the first thing is that you need to use um, command prompt. So type in cmd on your um, search. Then you want to right click first and run as administrative on command prompt. So run as administrative and click on yes, it will pop up to access the command prompt as the admin. So click on yes. Once you click on yes, then it should show you as a system 32. Okay. Uh, we don't want to get um, like Windows C drive or something like that. So we need to get this on system 32 because we want to scan um, and do everything. Okay. So we need to grab the admin or administrator. So the very first uh, command is you need to uh, type is SFC and forward slash and type in scan how so once you oh no scan now okay so every command will be in my description box or in my website so you guys can just check it out it should be easier for you so just once you have typed this command then press and hit on enter now this will take a lot of time okay so this will depend on your computer system performance I guess so I will be pausing this video until this scans or this verification gone to 100% so now as you guys can see that my um, verification is going to be completed as you guys can see it's on 99% so it should be completed a while ago so it takes me about to 15 minutes to complete so as you guys can see Windows Resource Protection did not find any kind of inverted violation so it's so like that now the next command you need to enter is the DISM so if you guys don't know what is DISM it's basically a deployment um, image servicing and management and yeah it's a full form okay but it's a command line tool that can be used to uh, service a window or prepare a Windows pre-installation environment so we are going to be using this scan okay uh, right now uh, let's scan its health and we also can restore its health so let's scan the health with the ISM tool so let's type it here on the command line oops it's a DISM dot exe now maybe we can bring this on online and for slash clean oops clean up image scan health so we are going to be scanning, scanning the health as you guys can see this is the command line and the command will be in my description box okay so you guys can just check it out so yep yeah, hit and enter okay so this will show you your image version and everything okay so this do scan your image version and appropriately and we need to restore its, um, you know, health. All right, guys. So it's been reaching on 100% right now. Now let's see what is going on. Output. So it's been totally completed. So now this sped up 100% um, successfully. Now the next thing is that we need to restore the health just by. Um, I'm putting the same command but with the restore and build. So now hit enter. Now this do the same thing and this do take the same time. And I know that it took a long time for me as you guys can see on my time on clock. <laughs> Just a right corner below. It do take a lot of time to do this. So once you have done this, then uh, so this is the last step, right? So I'm just going to cover what you guys want to do next, okay? So after doing this, then you need to reboot, okay? 
So once you revit your computer, then you can try it launching your programs. Or if you guys are having these um, shit errors, then it should be gone. Okay, it should be gone. And then um, next thing is that if you are still getting the problem, then uh, as this is the for you know for graphics, as you guys can see, graphics hardware, you need to update. So how you can update is you you can just uh, update from your your packages okay or uh, I mean your latest driver package it should update you at latest version so now once your driver has been updated successfully then you guys should have solved this problem itself so you guys need to update your graphics driver as well as I have already told you so once this has been completed reboot this then you want to update or upgrade your um, graphics driver okay whichever you want to prefer you it's best for you then you guys should update it or upgrade it to the latest version so I just recommend you guys to uh, update your graphics driver once this is done and it should solve you problem quickly so thanks for watching this video and I hope this video was helpful for you and so if you guys think this video will help you out then let me know in the comment or if this video still don't make any sense or it don't make or it don't solve the problem let me know in the comment as well so bye for now and I'll catch you guys in the next video